Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 3rd of 2022, well, it is titled Halo of the Cat's Eye. So what do we see here? Well, the central portion of this image is what is called the Cat's Eye Nebula. This is one of the well-known planetary nebula. Uh, that exist and a planetary nebula is the end state of a star like our own sun. And as it reaches the end of its life, the core compacts down very densely to something the size of about our Earth. And the outer layers expand outward. And that's what we're seeing in the central core here. The white dwarf star, which is what is left behind, is the dot at the very central regions. And then the inner, the portions here expelling out being the original outer layers of the star. Now what we're really looking at here is this outer halo. So the outer regions much further, much further out the outer edge of this kind of ring of material. And this is a um, been found on more and more planetary nebulae and is a very interesting phase trying to help us understand the end state of a star like our sun. And we are still striving to understand that what is going on before that has pushed out all of this material. Typically, we think in a planetary nebula that the material would be pushed out at the end of its life and would then expand outward. But here it's showing that different layers have been expelled at different times and hopefully starts to teach us something about these later stages of stellar evolution, which are quite difficult to model, and which still take too long for us to be able to watch any individual star. Even the planetary nebula phase itself may last a couple tens of thousands of years. So it's still it's a very long time frame compared to what we are able to study. And going back to the other one, we're talking things that may have happened 50 to 100,000 years before. So we're looking at relatively long time frames. So we can't just select a star and watch it go through these phases. We have to depend on models and make models and trying to get those models to best match the observations that we see. So more observations and more detailed deep observations such as this showing us these halos that now that we find that occur around these planetary nebula will help us to better understand the end state and what might happen to our sun in the distant future. So that was our picture of the day for August 3rd of 2022. It was titled Halo of the Cat's Eye. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be Herculean stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.